So we've got the power coming into the VFD. We've got the uh, VFD connected to the motor. Yep. So let's take a little bit of a uh, closer look at what we've got here. This is the default where the uh, VFD comes up to. Yep. Okay. And it's in a stop mode. Correct. So what we'll do is we, at this point, we're just going to turn it on. Yep. Yep. And it's already it's set finished. at 60 hertz. That's what it's factory set at. Okay. So we can just hit run and it'll go. And here it'll stop showing you the frequency that it's going to. So it's ramping up to 10 hertz. Okay, so right now it's ramped up to 10 hertz. It's yep. running. Yep. And what we can do is we can verify the rotation. And if it's the proper rotation for our setup, we're good. Yep. And if it's the wrong rotation, what do we do? We're going to hit the reverse button and then hit this M and it'll spin backwards. Okay, so, and let, so let's do that. Go ahead and reverse okay. it. So what it's doing is it's ramping, going back, going back down, down zero. and then you'll see it kick itself back up. It comes back up only in the reverse direction. Correct. Okay, so now it's running again at 10 hertz in the reverse direction. And what if I want to speed it up? Just using these up and down arrows, we can bring it all the way up to 60 hertz. Okay. We can crank it up to whatever we'd like. So there it's at 46. Okay. You can hear the motor spinning up, and there it's catching up to it. Okay, so you, the controls went up, and now the motor caught up. Yep, correct. You can go all the way up. Down, just, you can just go in the down arrow. Yep, and you can hear the motor slowing down as well. Okay, very good.